graphics artist and writer on Magic Cop, which is now live on Indiegogo right now. So you can go over to zaycomics.com and check that out. And we are just the two best looking brothers in the whole comic book industry. And today we are here on the final day of the Horror House pop-up here in Chicago. It's being hosted at the Roosevelt Collection, just like an outdoor mall. And uh, so we're here showcasing some art pinups and we have the first printed versions of Magic Cop anywhere and so this is the 12 page preview issue that we've had up for our mailing list uh, subscribers so if you're not subscribed to our mailing list you can go to zaidcomics.com and get your uh, your eyes on a digital copy of this comic book right now so you can read it right now but this is yeah completely free and then you also get a special tier for when you go back Magic Hop on Indiegogo. And so this is the 12 page pilot episode and uh, this is the first time that it's been printed and we have that here. It turned out great. Everybody's commenting about how nice the paper is and how, how well it's colored and just how nice it looks in general. It feels really cool. And then on the back of this, if you flip it over, we have the uh, wild card story that Phil's been working on with Maxi Dello. And uh, so we have the four page wild card short story where he's hunting down Anubis. So you can check this out. This is going along with the other Zade Comics project that's going to be coming out at the beginning of 2020 uh, called The Lost Pages. So you can look forward to that. And uh, so that, that's going to be really cool. Uh, have you had a good time this weekend? Yeah, it's, it's awesome showing this off and selling some artwork. Um, we, another thing I wanted to show off is we actually got this in and put it together Friday yeah. night. Uh, this is a bigger size. We scaled this up a little bit just so it can be bigger for our table. But everybody that backs the book will get it in a smaller size, the regular Blockhead size. So shout outs to Blockheads. Yeah, so it comes in a template like this. Hey, you can see down here, you guys could go to blockheads.com and uh, check out some of his cool templates but he was uh, very kind and made us the magic cop or Iggy Cromwell uh, template for us so it, it'll come like this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet and then you just cut the guy out and put them together it's super easy to do and it's really fun and cool seeing the guy get put together and so this is like Phil was saying this is the larger version of it which is twice as big but uh, I think having that at a convention table works really well yeah. and it attracts a lot of people because people really like that kind of pops looking thing. Yeah, really and it's like exclusive to the, our campaign. So all the backers are going to get, if you're a physical backer, you'll get that sheet. And even if you're a digital backer, you'll get the PDF. So you can print it out at home and put it together. Uh, it's, if you want above and beyond this magic wand with the magic shooting off the side, really cool. And, and, Everybody that has a campaign, I think, should contact Blockheads um, and see if they could hook them up with, with one of these guys because it's just more more perks for your backers. Yeah, you know? man, it's cool. The it's guys just, from Hero Blood Patriots did it. And it is one of those really cool things, you know, instead of it being like, you know, how I, I'm dissing on patches all the time, you know, but like that guy looks really cool on a shelf next to your other crazy memorabilia from other comics, too. Right. And people creating new IPs and stuff. It's going to be hard to get certain merchandise uh, up and running. And this thing, you know, it's you don't have to spend right. a bunch of money. Yeah. It ships flat, yeah, it's and the then you know the uh, the customer gets to put it together themselves, which is a, a cool little task, and it's kind of fulfilling. You know, when you get it done, it, it, it looks really cool getting put together and everything. And then especially how easy it is. Uh, and then in other news. Um, Tomorrow, actually today, I will have finished up the next three pages of the second chapter. So six pages will be done for chapter two. And then we'll be moving on to the next three pages. So I'm doing three pages a week right now. And that's going to allow us to meet the uh, late February, early March deadline. And then um, Phil is going to talk about the fan art competition that we had running last week. So we had the fan art competition uh, going for two weeks. And then it closed out the submissions. We narrowed it down to four finalists, which we saw last week in, um, on our social media. And then we put out for four days of poll. We had like almost 
almost 90 people vote in for the poll, I believe, at the end of it. And it was really close. It was between Passion for Drawing and the Howl Comics. And Howl Comics took it. Uh, Alan Alonzo uh, did this awesome piece. You know, it totally looks like a magazine cover, a comic cover. And we love it. It was so close, like by 2%. So yeah, that's really close. That's going to be your fan art champion for Magic Cop Episode 1. You'll, uh, he's going to have his art put in the back of the main book. Yeah. And I know we have a stretch goal if we reach it, or we want to put some other fan arts in the ash can for some people. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll have some of those sick pieces for, for people to get yeah. with some other stretch goals. I know we want to do something when we get to 100 back. Right now, I think we're at 82. Yeah, which is really close. Yeah, but six days left. So if you guys haven't backed already, you guys have been waiting to get um, for your paydays. Definitely, this is the week to do it. So uh, get behind that. And congrats to Hall Comics. And thanks for everyone for submitting to the fan art competition. Yeah, yeah. They were all awesome. I loved seeing all that. Uh, so we're just going to be here for a, a, yeah, a couple more, a few more hours. And then uh, we're going to be closing up. And then it's back to the grind. Yeah. And uh, all right. So uh, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to see more of our videos. And Phil does some live streams yeah, so every week. Button. Yeah, so if you hit the notification button, then you make sure that you uh, are very on time for those live streams. And you can check out, he does uh, and talks to a lot of other comic book creators in the indie scene. And so you can get uh, your eyes on some of those new and upcoming comics that are going to be coming out on Indiegogo. Yeah, we have some good uh, streams coming up this week. I think we're doing Passion for Drawing this week with this Doom Fate book and Captain USA, Cyborg USA. Sorry. Yeah, Cyborg USA, which is... Yeah, that's going to be a really cool one. And so uh, make sure you guys go to ZadeComics.com and sign up for the newsletter. And uh, if you'd like, go to Patreon.com slash ZadeNinja. And you guys can help us out by subscribing to uh, my Patreon. And we'll see you next time. Hey, guys, have you heard of Magic Cop? This is the comic book that we're making at Zaid Comics. It is live right now on Indiegogo. It is that Miami Vice feel mixed with monsters and magic. 88 pages, fully colored graphic novel. Uh, and be sure to pick up that ash can that comes with it. It's going to have a bunch of concept art and a 12-page pilot issue. So check it out. We're fully funded. That means if you back it, you're definitely going to get this book. And we're heading on for the stretch goals. So help us out to get there. Thanks, everybody.